Hey everybody, uh, today is Wednesday, August 28th, um, 2013. I'm on day three of my four day cycle of difficulties and um, we've had a little bit of an epiphany and a, um, hopefully maybe even a solution to the problem or at least an answer if not a solution. So earlier this week, you know, I have, even during those 14 days, there are some times when I feel a little weird and have to wear sunglasses in the store or uh, just, I don't usually have speech problems during those 14 days, but, um, and, and it's been a pretty good two weeks. But I had two different instances this past week uh, getting close to the cycle when I lost my speech for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, during during the week and uh, both times I was laying on my back and the left leg was compromised causing pressure and and uh, stress on my left hip and instantly my speech went away and after about 10 or 15 minutes it resolved so not that it isn't a new symptom but it is uh, something that, that at least triggered in my mind, especially while I was feeling well, that maybe that was something that needed to be investigated a little bit further. And since the beginning of this, when it started in 2008, um, I've always had this situation where I could lean back and be able to talk, or sometimes lean forward and be able to talk, or stand on one leg and be able to talk, and of course, that's mind-boggling to me also, obviously. This has been going on for five and a half years. We've never really been able to figure out what, what's causing it. Um, I'm leaning back in the chair right now because that gives me the ability to speak. But uh, when I lean forward, uh, almost in instantly, then it, it, it's hard, hard for me to uh, talk. And when I uh, get to just the right angle, instantly it resolves. And of course, all the things that I've shown you in the past videos, it's only affecting the left hemisphere of my brain. I mean, I can still, it's all the things that I've shown you before with covering one eye and all that. And I guess in my mind, I was thinking that it was just the hemispheric parts of my brain. Um, even with this balance thing, but because of what happened earlier this week, um, and let me also say, chiropractic has been extremely beneficial with what I have going on. It kind of led me down a different angle and a different direction of how to think about this. So one thing that I've noticed during the course of this illness is uh, I have a chiropractic friend who helps me out regularly and she uses an activator and on the T3, T4 vertebrae when she uses the activator instantly my speech would come back. I mean this has been consistent since 2008 when I started seeing her towards the end of the year. So I was sick for probably about nine to ten months before I found her and she's been able to help me an amazing amount since then. But you know, during those four days, even when she works on me, it comes back or, or sometimes she's got a long driveway, we'll drive down to visit her and on the way home, my speech is gone again. And so we haven't been able to put that together, but all of a sudden I'm thinking, okay, what if I have some kind of endometrial tissue that has adhered itself to my vertebrae and maybe is pinching or blocking the flow to my brain so that it's not, the, the left hemisphere of my brain isn't getting the nutrients that it needs coming in through my vertebral artery or whatever. I, I'm not a, a doctor, so I'm not entirely sure about all of these things, but it seems to make sense to me something is being pinched. So what we did on this cycle, today is day three, for the last two days I have been internally and externally using Arnica. Um, Arnica pellets under my tongue and uh, Billy, my partner, he's been putting Arnica on my vertebra just about where we think that the issue might exist at the T3, T4. 
and I hadn't had any problems until today. And the only reason why I'm having problems now is at 8.30 this morning he applied some Arnica and I took some pellets and uh, about, we decided not to dose this afternoon to, to just allow it to wear off so we could see if that inflammation and swelling reduction was helping and we and I hadn't given it a chance even during the cycle to see if I was having problems so about mm, it took about six hours about 2 30 this afternoon it started gradually wearing off by about I couldn't think at first and then it, it kind of passed on to my reading and then by about 3 30 I couldn't talk it's uh, 4 25 right now in the afternoon and it's been about two hours that I've been suffering with what I'm going through. Uh, my intention right now is when I finish this video we're going to go ahead and apply Arnica to my back. I imagine since the inflammation has increased it might take a little while but we're going to time it to see how long it takes and hopefully I'll have a full recovery back to normalcy. So thank you for viewing and uh, we'll get back with you hopefully in about an hour.